Okay, so I'm back with Larry. Um, yesterday, bud, we were filming for your online learning platform, um, and you were doing a video about what you would call, I guess, arm runoff or like mm -hmm. excessive arm motion once the body has in totally, fact yeah, stopped turning. Yeah, most commonly, you know, the most commonly heard of as the runoff or, or some extra drift at the end. Drift. You've probably heard different people call it different things, but pretty much is when you stop turning at the top of your box and your arms, hands, club continue to keep going for too long so after you stop turning. For example, my chest has stopped turning uh -huh, here, uh -huh. it would be this. Correct, correct, I'm, exactly. I'm very guilty of that, as you yes, know. I've yes. always been guilty <laughs> of it. So it's better from working with you the last few years. When I first came to you, I was like the runoff king. Totally, yes. And uh, now I'm probably, you know, I'm still guilty of it, but not nearly as bad. But um, I really liked that video and just kind of occurred to me, so many people probably have that issue. Totally. Um, so I kind of want to just make a specific video about that. And also just from looking at a couple videos of my swing that we've been working together, I noticed like I might be getting a bit sloppy with that as well. Yes, yeah. That feels like the kind of swing that I've been making. Obviously, right. good result, but I, when I try to pay attention without changing it to my backswing, I definitely feel my arms. So why don't we take a look at that one? Yeah, so I think this is definitely a good one to look at. Um, your takeaway is good. It's not excessively inside. Like, it's pretty straight back-ish. Okay, club good. goes through hands. Club is steep enough. A little better. But your issue here now comes from, from here. Instead of turning your body uh -huh. and having your hands go up, your arms go back more. So your left arm, left elbow gets behind your left rib cage too much. So on this view, it's basically, you want this elbow here-ish? Yes. It's getting there. Correct, so like imagine like for you as a lefty, the seam of your shirt, right? Right. The left seam of your shirt. When you set up, your elbow is in front of the seam of your shirt the entire time, right? Yes. So if you turn, 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 that's what we want. Not this. You're getting fake depth. So fake depth meaning my elbow's here correct. versus here. Correct, correct. Okay. So you're getting excessively deep because you're faking it. Yeah. But we want to, we get that by just turning. The body. Yes, but we want to make sure the elbow stays in front of your rib cage, in front of the seam of your shirt. Gotcha. So we want, it, we want it to be in sync with the chest here. Yeah, dude, that's, all, that's good there. Yep, do that, do that again, do that again. One more, one more time. So do the takeaway portion only. So go in, so turn. Yes, and then keep turning as you go straight up. Yes, good. Okay, good. some more here. Yes, that's your that's your feel. That's you're, what I you're want. You're going to be feel. deeper in reality. I know this doesn't look like there's any depth at all, but yeah. you're going to be deeper. I'll in probably reality. end up, let's say here Correct. or something. Yeah, you and just got to make sure. Here. Exactly. You got to make sure you're actually turning your torso. Yes. Because not just are, my lower body. Correct. Because for you and for a lot of people, if you if you don't turn your torso and you let your arms go, mm -hmm. it actually pulls your shoulder blade back, um, which right. looks like you're turning from but, the face on view. But you're not. But you're not actually turning. Like this is the turn, yeah. but you're just doing this to pull the shoulder back. Okay. So it looks like you're turning, but gotcha. you're not turning. So turn and go up. Turn, 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 turn. Yes. Yes. Good. That's a really good first try. Better. Definitely. See, so I see a little bit more club. Definitely. So that's what we want to see. And my chest is there. still facing like back towards the camera. So yes. I can see what you mean. Like there's a- You bow. can still turn more, I would say, in the first two thirds of the backswing. For a lot of people that let overswing or let the arms drift, does it come from sometimes not enough turn of the upper body in general? Yes, they've, they've calibrated themselves to have a full high swing yes. with their arms. So more, too much arms, not enough actual body correct, rotation. Correct, correct, correct. Which gotcha. is why like when I work with a lot of my clients, they like, oh, the swing feels short, but they actually turn way more than they used to. It's just the arms don't travel as much. And a lot of people's perception is a longer swing is gonna get them more speed. So they're chasing speed through just length and arm correct, swing correct. versus chasing it through something a little bit more compact where correct. you then. Close, really close. So turn, 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 turn. Better, 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 better. Feels nice. Closer, that's closer. I mean, the strike definitely feels really good. That's closer. So from a face on view, when I'm keeping my hands uh, like that invisible wall at the mm -hmm. side of my shirt seam. Mm -hmm. If I'm keeping it away from that, people mm -hmm. should see um, distance between their chest and their left mm -hmm. elbow. Yeah, or so, right so, elbow. yeah, so yeah, go right there. Yeah, exactly. So go right there. Yeah. 
versus if your elbow gets behind the seam, your hands get behind your head from the face on view. You see that? Yeah. So width is like things are more this way, side of your head on uh -huh. the face on view. But if this creeps behind you, things get behind your head from the face on view. So that's so, how people can look for that as well. And then obviously sequencing wise, if you drift the arms long and elbow behind like that, you have to, I guess, correct in your people first tend motion. To throw it back outwards. Because you have to, right? Correct. If you left it that far behind you, you would barely be able to hit the ball. Correct. So Correct. basically you're throwing yourself off sequence already in the backswing. Totally. You don't have much hope of recovering it. Totally. For the Usually downswing. like at the end of the day, the downswing is a reaction to the backswing. Gotcha. It's very tough for people to control the downswing happens so fast. Especially consistently. Totally. Like it's one thing on the range, but if totally. you go to the golf course and you're trying to time your downswing, and I've done it for years, it's yeah. tough, right? So that's why like we do, we do a lot of work like backswing specific a lot because yeah. as the backswing gets better, it will influence the downswing positively without us even have to touch it. So that when we do have to touch it, it's easier to actually change it. Makes sense. So turn, 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 turn. Yes. Better, 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 better. I wish I videoed that one. That was That's okay. Well, we'll have it from this camera yeah, too. That was much better. Go in. Oui. Um, okay, cool. This yeah. is a good like starting point. So I think probably there's different tendencies for people, maybe why they get long mm -hmm. and drift, but the mm -hmm. commonality is if your body has finished turning and one turning properly. Totally. So a lot of people are one, not actually making a full turn. Totally. They're faking the turn with the rear shoulder. Yes. So focus on actually making a full turn. Right. And then once you're finished the full turn, your arm position, that's the end of the backswing. To yes. From there, you should be beginning your downswing yes. sequence. Yes. Which we can get into in the next video. Yes. Okay. That's exactly it. And so people just need to be comfortable with seeing maybe a little bit shorter motion. Shorter arm swing, but long turn. Bigger turn. Yeah, long turn. So from the face on view, we want to see tons of your back and like the back shoulder blade, yeah. if possible. Now, like people always say, oh, I'm not flexible enough. I've only ever seen like one or two people where they like literally physically not, not flexible Which enough or there's something issue. hindering them. Yeah. Most of the times they're just not turning properly. Okay. So as long as you make sure you let your lower body freely turn, mm. your upper body can also turn more. So if people get too restricted down here, you actually exactly. you know, restrict So they're spine. just not turning properly. They, they're either you know, trying to maintain trail knee flex, which is something that people have been taught to do in the past. Yeah. So as a result, lower body doesn't turn, upper body is very limited, or they start like doing weird things yeah, like that, and they also and don't turn. And they, and they blame it on flexibility. Cool. But for most people, I do think you're flexible enough. Sure, you might not be as flexible as someone else, but you're right. flexible enough yeah. to turn enough. So turn enough yeah. so that you don't do the arm drag. Exactly. Okay, cool. So that's good for the backswing. Mm -hmm. um, let's take that, and then we're going to work on sequencing yeah, next. Yeah, let's do it. Next video. Yep. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.